My name is Stephen Hamlin. My website, mybodycanlearn.com. This is the third in a series of videos on neck pain based on the Feldenkrais method. This <clears throat> topic today is my favorite all-time movement. I think everybody should learn this for the neck. This is, um, uh, I think, almost as good for me personally as the Alexander technique, which I was involved with for a couple of years. And this kind of recreates much of the benefit I got from the Alexander technique. And it's a very simple concept, but it takes a little understanding. I have to explain this way. If this is a representation of the head, and this is the top of the neck, so the head rotates like this. If I nod the head, the top of the head is actually resting on the spine between the ears. That's where the top of the spine is. So if this is the front of the head where my fingers are, and look at the weight, there's more weight in front. So, so if I relax my head in sitting, the head will drop. It's because the, the, the supporting point of the head, backed by the ears, is behind the center of gravity. So there's muscles in the back of the neck that hold the head up. If those muscles relax, our head will drop. So there's constant tension in the back of the neck for everybody, unless you're walking around all day like this. So the problem is, the muscles in the back of the neck don't always know how to relax, and they begin to build up, up, up tension as months and years go by. Stress, whiplash will aggravate it and accelerate it. So what if there's a movement that you could do a hundred times a day that would tone down that muscular tension in the back of the neck? And it has profound effect. It's very simple, but it's not easy. It takes time to practice. And all you do, you might, you might want to close your eyes to try it first. I'll close my eyes as I model the movement. Wherever the head is, you simply drop the head quarter inch, a millimeter, two inches, whatever. You, you slowly let the head drop by relaxing the back of the neck. Now, in the beginning, you can't do it. In the beginning, what you're going to do is drop the head like you usually do by tensing the front of the neck, overpowering the back of the neck so you increase the compression of the head and neck. That's not what we're doing here. It's totally different. You think quiet neck, relax, and you let the head, the chin, float down slowly and you'll feel as if you're growing taller the neck I feel it right now the neck is like quiet cooler the muscles like toned down and if you do that many times a day you can be looking to the left to the right looking up oh I just release the back of the neck drop the chin I'm, I'm looking down here release the back of the neck drop the chin just a slight amount people won't even see what you're doing but this little movement, many times a day, will activate the ability of the brain to keep that tension from the back of the neck from building up. And you grow taller, and you feel more blood to the brain, you feel more relaxed, because we build tension here, the whole body becomes contracted. And it's, it's a very powerful, simple movement that you need to practice many times a day. And um, if you start doing this now, I have to warn you, you're not going to be able to do it right away. You have to take time to sit down, take five minutes, really relax, and just let the head float, and maybe just a little jerky, and very small. See, anybody can sit, sit and relax the back of the neck, completely drop the head. I'm not talking about 100% relaxation of the back of the neck. I'm talking about a very small, graded relaxation where the head weight will overpower just slightly the tension in the back of the neck, allowing the head to slightly drop. So you're teaching the brain to moderate that tension in the back of the neck just a little bit, moderate it, not completely turn it off. And it looks like this. I just did it. Just did it again. That's it. Very simple movement. This is... Can you do it? Yes. Okay, I'll, I'll turn my head a little bit profile. And so I'm just looking at the diplomas on your wall, and I think, oh, relax the back of the neck, drop the chin a little bit. I just did it. It was about a millimeter movement, but I felt a quieting going on in the back of the neck. I felt a little taller. You, you don't even see what I'm doing. If I exaggerate it, it'll look like this. Good, very good. But, uh, the, the, the starting point for this, again, is to understand that the top of the 
neck where the head is supported is between the ears, level of the cheekbone, level of the nose, not down here. So as the head drops, it's like this from that axis of rotation. So you need to be clear about that intellectually so you can allow the proper movement. If you think it's going to be down here, you won't even allow it to happen correctly. So you need to, to, to be clear about the mechanics in that way. That's it. Thank you very much.